I'm Tim Sharon here. I teach singers and bands how to book great gigs and explode your music career. Today we are talking about the number one secret weapon in booking festivals. First, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to the podcast itself, uh, The Sharon Zone, which is on all the platforms that you can get podcasts on, Apple and Spotify and iHeart and all of those. And also I wanna thank everybody for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Thank you for being a part of this community. It is growing so fast. I am so excited and so thankful. Thank you so much. Um, let's dive right into this. The number one secret weapon to booking festivals is showcasing. Showcasing at conferences. Man, I was in the dark for years about this. I'm literally in the dark right now. <clears throat> um, I didn't know about these until like five years into my career. And my career, I started playing solo acoustic bars and restaurants hundreds a year. Um, and my goal, my intention was to go from doing that to playing festivals I really focused on playing festivals and get booking festival gigs. You know, I put a ton of work into it. And my intention was to open for as many national acts as I possibly could. And I really went for that. So I went for those two things. And now I've played a ton of great festivals and I've opened for over 35 national acts. So having said that, discovering conferences for festival associations changed my life. It changed my career. Um, now I'm on the entertainment committee for the Florida and Festivals and Events Association. So I, along with the rest of the committee, I'm in charge of basically booking and choosing who performs at these conferences. So let me break it down for you. This is going to be really simple, but this is just a concept that uh, if you haven't heard of this, of conferences, or you don't know anything, or you've heard of them, but you showcasing, you know, uh, this is definitely something you owe it to yourself to look into if you want to play bigger and better shows and you want to play festivals. Now, this is not just for festivals and fairs. This is, they have conferences for everything. NACA, APCA, I've done them too. Um, those are all for colleges, so you can go to these conferences and book college gigs or you can go to these conferences and book fairs and festival gigs. There, there's, there's conferences for all these different things and in all different states, like Florida has a couple of these organizations that have conferences. So every single state has multiple. But let me break it down for you. It's as simple as this, okay? I'll use... The Florida and Festival, Fe Florida Festivals and Events Association that I'm a part of, as an example. Okay, um, they have a conference once a year, usually in August. Sometimes in Orlando, sometimes it's in Naples. But um, basically, you go to a big, nice hotel. They set up a big conference. So, what does that mean? Um, all the vendors and everything all have and, and the acts and all that. Um, that are involved with festivals and fairs, all set up booths in a huge ballroom. And then they have showcases. So the bottom line for you and for me is, you go, this is, and it's an investment. You pay, you pay to do this, which makes total sense when I tell you what you do, okay? But it's your business, and this is one of the best investments you can possibly make because of this. Imagine you want to play festivals, you live in Florida, or you want to play in Florida, okay? What better way to book festival gigs than to go on stage with a, you know, on a great stage with professional sound, lights, all that stuff, and to perform in front of a few hundred people that are in charge of booking festivals. It's that simple. It's kind of like if you wanted to book 
yourself every single weekend at bars for the rest of, for, for, for the whole year and you could go somewhere and play in front of all the bar owners in your city in one set, in one night, one day. That's the way it is for festivals um, and for colleges and for all these other things. So look into it. If you have any questions about this, um, you know, like I said, I'm on the entertainment committee for this one. But if you have any questions about any of this, just drop me a comment. Um, because like I said, this it really changed my life, changed my career. I, of course, started booking tons of great festivals. It did take a year or two though. Like you have to be consistent as well. You know, I would plan to do the same conference um, two, three years in a row to get traction and get people to really, you know, to know you and to love you and to stick. And besides you, so you're performing in front of all of these people that that's their, why they're there. They're there because they are putting on a festival in whatever month of the year. And part of their, their job is to book the entertainment for, that, for their festival. And there are hundreds of them. So it is incredibly powerful that you get to show exactly what you do in the same room and perform for all of these people. An amazing investment in your career. And for the whole weekend or whatever it is, the three days, you network with these people and you get to meet them and hang out with them and become friends with these people. If you go multiple years, it becomes like a little family reunion. You become friends with everybody. Um, nowadays, they do a lot of Zoom calls, so everybody kind of keeps in touch and does networking just over Zoom. But it's invaluable. So if you want to play festivals, uh, start playing festivals or play more bigger and better festivals, I definitely recommend that you look into your local festival and fair association and look into going to the next conference, submitting to showcase and get in front of all those festival buyers and bookers. It is an amazing investment that you can make in yourself and in your music career because you deserve to get your music heard and to be a successful musician. So again, I want to thank everybody for subscribing. This thing is blowing up. Thank you everybody for sharing all of this stuff. Um, I just, you know, I can't thank you enough. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being a part of this community. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe. Make sure you hit notifications on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast, The Sharon Zone. Everywhere podcasts are available, The Sharon Zone lives there. So as always, reminder, if you haven't downloaded the free guide that I wrote to booking gigs the easy way, please be my guest. It's my gift to you. Download the free guide at howtobookgigs.com.